What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another update on Ready or Not. They just came out with another newsletter, so I thought I'd cover it. The name of this update is called Feedback Single Player Co op Art AI Developments. So let's go ahead and get into it. Supporter feedback. First and foremost, we would like to thank our supporter community for all the feedback they have given to us since the release of the latest alpha update. We have been diligently reading your comments regarding the new game modes, damage changes, level design, and incremental leaning speed, and we continue to have active discussions about how best to implement these features and mechanics into ready or not to create the most fun and tactical experience possible to have constructed player input is very valuable for us during this stage of development and we would like to encourage those who haven't tried the most recent content to hop into the next community playtesting event to see for yourself well i mean there's not a lot of people who like to play in these types of events but if you actually do want people to come and play then the best thing to do is release updates alongside those events so that people can actually experience what's new and have a player base to go up against yeah like if you were to release an update alongside an event then i would actually stream it because i want to see what's new while also showing it off to people live that'll bring more people into the event because previously the majority of the events have not received an actual update so you'd just be basically playing the same game every event without updates so what's the point i mean sure you guys released an update just recently but you didn't release it alongside an event so there wasn't a whole lot of organization and people just kind of went in and played whatever so yeah basically if you release an update you should do it alongside an event so that it rallies people to that event and then they start playing that update and then you see a bunch of bugs come in you know what i'm saying but yeah anyways i kind of went into like a bit of a rant there but let's continue on here furthermore we are very much looking forward to introducing the shoot house map in our upcoming update as announced i mean thank goodness because i'm getting sick and tired of that old map i think they just named it too it's called goddamn which goddamn is right I'm playing this freaking map forever god damn but anyways we believe the layout design of the map will allow supporters to try out a new and untouched ready or not gameplay as the long-awaited inclusion of doors across the level will both affect the dynamic and pace of every match and elevate the importance of tactical elements such as breaching this will bring needed attention to player equipment such as the breaching shotgun and breaching charge the mirror gun wedge and more besides providing a new environment where players can test the vip PS score and arrest and rescue game modes. We are excited to hear your feedback on all of these features and intend to release the update to our supporters very, very soon. Okay. And here's where they finally get into the single player co op, single player and co op level art. We continue to steadily make good progress towards our internal goals regarding both single player and co op specific features and the texturing and lighting of the levels that compose the game's story mode. We've set a high bar when it comes to the environments and scenes we want Ready or Not to feature, and we are happy to see our ideas ideas and concepts coming to reality as well as they are thanks to the skillful contribution of the industry hardened individuals comprising of our art team and yeah the pictures look pretty nice i think my only criticism about these is that the pictures do kind of look a little foggy but i'm not entirely sure if that's intended or not i think the fogginess kind of takes away from the art style in my opinion but again i think that's intended because it's supposed to be a meth house and i imagine a meth house is going to be very smoky but these pictures have descriptions to them so let's go ahead and take a look at them the first picture says the house this is living room past and front doorway the dining area with a convoluted cooking sector in the background another shot of the living area and kitchen lots of open spaces and doorways to be aware of a corridor leading to the other wing of the house stairway on the right leads to the second floor with multiple bedrooms yeah so again i've actually played this level before but this would be the first time that it's actually fully textured this level is known as meth and they've been actually talking about this level for like the past four to five updates i would say and it's kind of getting annoying like can we talk about another level i mean the map really isn't that big i mean it is big but the area that you're going into isn't that big per se well anyways they continue on to talk about the single player ai which finally you know some news on that another important factor behind the value of our single player and co-op experience is the scope of capabilities of our suspect swat and civilian ai we are shooting for very high standards which we know creates very high expectations i mean i remember your investors saying that you guys are working on a triple a game so we'll definitely see but anyways our programming and game design teams have been working on a massive overhaul to all ai behaviors for months and the most recent efforts include improvements on the swat ai's ability to smartly move across 
across differing environments to safely cover angles while constantly scanning for new threats and to be fully capable of carrying out full room breach and clear with every single equipment item in the game including less than lethal grenades and breaching methods the mirror gun or optiwan and more ideally the swat ai would be capable of finishing a mission not only by following the commanding player's orders but also independently which i'm assuming this is what this gif is at the bottom here i'm assuming this is the ai just clearing a bunch of random rooms by themselves it seems like it's coming along all right moving on you know, it's as if they kind of listened to what I had to say in one of the previous videos that I made, where I said, if you want to talk about the single player co-op, how about showing off the AI, telling us where they're at? This is exactly what they did. So that's cool. And in this gift, they kind of show off a couple of things. Like, uh, I believe the map that they're in is called Club. I'm still not entirely sure if Club is the anal staircase, but it may or may not be. I'm not sure. It seems like this map is fully textured and doesn't look too bad. It also features the new C2 charge blast, where it basically just disintegrates the door and it goes flinging across the room and if any of you actually notice some of the assets that are in the room are actually moving when they feel that explosion so that's a cool little touch it would actually also be kind of cool if uh when those assets go flying they actually hit someone you know just like unintended consequences for deciding to use c2 blast so yeah pretty cool gif so yeah that pretty much does it for this newsletter it was relatively short and it's not a playable update unfortunately but it did shed a lot of light on a lot of things like the single player co-op and how that's going especially the ai i think this is like the first time we actually heard about that or i might be wrong about that but it's definitely been a long time coming and yeah again if you guys want to get people into you know testing the game more then you should probably release an update at the same time that you're doing events so that people are more interested and uh yeah so that's where i'm gonna end it what are your thoughts on this small update is this something that really interested you because it sure did me and for someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like ready or not be sure to like the video share the video comment down below and and if you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. Why don't you give it a shot? If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just sent two bucks a month. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.